What's up, everybody? Kyle here at Let's Talk Wax with Prospect Hot Sheet Arizona Fall League Edition. And the Arizona Fall League is a place where organizations send some of their top prospects to compete over the course of 30 games. Now, we are into weeks three and four, and I'm going to give you the top 10 performing prospects and some of the prospects who have not performed so well. Stay tuned. Now, before we get into the players, I want to go over what all of the different colored text means on these graphs. Red text indicates a really good stat and blue text indicates a very bad stat. You'll also see some stats in bold. If you look at Tyler Black's K numbers, you can see his K percentage is in bold and his K to walk ratio is in bold. And that means there's the best on this list. Now you'll actually see some other blue stats that are bolded and that means they are the worst on this list. Now we're gonna start off this video with three guys who really struggled over the last 15 games Joe Mack, Miami Marlins catcher, 19.8 years old, very young for the level, 4 for 25 with 11 strikeouts. So he had a rough past two weeks. Now, Joe Mack played through a hamstring injury in 2022, and I'm really not sure how much that affected his stats, but he hit 243 with a 142 ISO, had really good K numbers, a 25.6 K percentage, a 1.42 K to walk ratio. Now, he has high ground ball to fly ball rates, so hopefully he can get those in check to increase his ISO in 2023, but for right now, he's a 3.5 on the Let's Talk Wax rank. And the Let's Talk Wax rank works from elite to bad, elite being the best, bad, of course, being the worst. And any ones and twos are pretty good ranks, and fives and sixes are pretty bad ranks, and threes and fours are right in the middle. Our next iceberg over weeks three and four is Jason Dominguez, another baby playing in the fall league at 19.7. New York Yankees center fielder, probably one of the most prevalent names in prospecting in minor league baseball over the last two years. He was only four for 25 with five strikeouts. Now, Dominguez played across three levels in 2022. He started in A-ball, and he worked all the way to double-A. Did really well in A-ball, did really well in high-A, and kind of hit a wall in double-A, which is to be expected at such a young age. He hit 273 over the course of the year with a 188 ISO, and he put up really good K numbers, a 24.1 K percentage and a sub 2 K to walk ratio. Now, he hit 16 home runs and stole 37 bases. The 37 base is a bit of an inflation uh, because he did steal the majority of his bases in low A, which are almost gimmies, and he stole quite a few in high A as well. I think he only stole one base in double A, but he had a pretty solid year in 2022, much better than what he did in 2021, but I don't think he'll ever be able to live up to the hobby hype. He actually performed so well in 2022 that I bumped him up to a 1.5 on a Let's Talk Wax rank. Our final cold as ice prospect is Matt McLean. He's a 23.2 year old shortstop prospect with the Cincinnati Reds. He was four for 30 with 15 strikeouts over the last two weeks. He hit 232 over the course of two levels in 2022. He played in high A and double A, and he was white hot coming out of high A, but he kind of slowed down in double A. He put up a 221 ISO, so he's showing a bit more power over hit right now. An okay K percentage of 28.1 and a sub 2 K to walk ratio. McLean hit 17 home runs and stole 27 bases between high and double A. Now, the thing with McLean you have to consider is the two guys that are ahead of him, uh, I think skill-wise, in the Cincinnati Reds organization. They acquired Noel V. Marte, and they also have Ellie De La Cruz, who's just having an immaculate season in, uh, had an immaculate season in 2022. So I'm wondering what the uh, Cincinnati Reds are going to do with McLean. If they're going to keep him at shortstop or if they're going to possibly move him to the outfield, that's all in the air. But he's got some really stiff competition going into 2023 at the shortstop position. He's a Let's Talk Wax rank three out of five. We're going to move on to our top performing players, and I've got two honorable mentions this week. Mason Wynn, a shortstop prospect with the St. Louis Cardinals, another young player in the Arizona Fall League, 20.6. 
had, was 9 for 27 with a home run, four stolen bases, and seven RBIs. Wynn played between high A and double A this year and had a pretty solid season. He hit 283 with a 185 ISO, 20.9 K percentage, and 1.82 K to walk ratio. Now he hit 12 home runs and stole 43 bases between the two levels. He's got game-changing speed. He has a little bit of power. He had a 185 ISO. He's got really good K numbers, and if he grows into any power, he's going to start to generate a lot of talk in the hobby community. But his numbers did fall off a bit in AA, but he's still very young for the level, so I could let that kind of go and give him some slack because he's so young. Now, he does not have a first Chrome Auto, but you can find his first Chrome Prospect cards in 2020 Bowman Draft. And Win is a 1.5 on the Let's Talk Wax rank. And our final honorable mention is Tyler Black, a 22.3-year-old outfield prospect in the Milwaukee Brewers organization. He was 9 for 29 with a home run, three doubles, and six RBIs. Now, Tyler Black played the entire year in high A as a 22.3-year-old, probably a 21.8-year-old when he started, but he played above the league average age. And he did not put up very crazy numbers for being that old. He hit 281 with a 143 ISO. Now, Tyler Black held extremely good K numbers. He only struck out 15.5% of his plate appearances, and he held a sub-1 K to walk ratio, which is very, very rare. He did have a scapula injury, I think, in July that sidelined him for the remainder of the regular season. So he's getting his first taste of baseball in quite a while in the Arizona Fall League, and he's performing rather well. Now, Tyler Black is a very dark horse sleeper for me, and he's got fringe power, and the age level thing just kind of has me thinking he's going to be right around an average at best major league player, but you never know what happens in 2023. He's a 3.5 on the Let's Talk Wax scale right now. This is going to bring us to our top 10, and leading off is Henry Davis, 23.1 years old. He's a catcher in the Pittsburgh Pirates organization, drafted first overall in 2021. He is 9 for 29 with a homer, 3 doubles, and 6 RBIs in the last 15 Fall League games. Now, Henry Davis played between high A and double A this season in 2022. He did really well in high A, and he was battling a wrist injury uh, the majority of the season. He actually erupted two times and sidelined him twice. When he got to double A, he didn't really do exceptionally well, which is a bit of a red flag for me at 23.1, but it's his first experience of double A, so he has some time to adjust. Now he hit 264 with a 208 ISO, a great K percentage at 20% and a 2.42 K to walk ratio. Now his home run and stolen base stats aren't great because like I said, he missed quite a bit of time with that nagging wrist injury and there's really no telling how much of a role that played in his performance. He's a, a Let's Talk Wax rank out of two out of six for me right now. At number nine, we've got Werner Blakely with the Los Angeles Angels. He's a third base prospect. 20.7 years old. He was 8 for 24 with three doubles, two stolen bases, and three RBIs in the last 15 Fall League games. Now, Blakely is a bit of an interesting prospect. He had a really good year, but he was 20 years old playing at A-ball. He was a bit old for the level. Now, he's performing pretty well in the Fall League, which is really interesting because he doesn't have any experience outside of A-ball. In the 2022 season, he hit 295 with a 175 ISO, a 917 OPS, the highest OPS on this list. But his K percentage was rather high at 29.7. And this is the second season Warner Blakely's K'd right around 30%. So it's starting to follow him around this high K percentage. And he's not putting up Ellie De La Cruz-like numbers to kind of justify having that high of a K percentage. He does take walks. But like I said, he strikes out way too much for being the age he is in his level. He hit five home runs and stole 24 bags over the 2022 season. He's got our Let's Talk Wax rank of three out of six right now. At number eight, we've got my favorite hitter in all of minor league baseball, St. Louis Cardinals prospect. And I don't know really whether to call him a third baseman anymore because he's getting reps in the outfield in the fall league. 20.4 years old, was 9 for 31 with two homers, two doubles, and seven RBIs. Now back to the bat, over the 2022 season, Walker hit 306 with a 204 ISO. This is his second season in a row where he's hit over 300 and held a higher than 200 ISO. 
and that's rare, especially to do it two seasons in a row and doing it at such a young age and a high level. He has great K numbers at 21.6 K percentage and a 2.00 K to walk ratio. He hit 19 home runs and stole 22 bases, and I think he had 30 or 40 doubles along the way. Now, like I said before, he's getting reps in center field, and the Cardinals are really putting a lot of pressure on his defense right now because he's never played out there. But it shows me that they're really anxious to get his bat to St. Louis as quickly as possible. And there is a bit of a log jam there with Arenado, but I'm not sure what he's going to do as far as his contract goes either. Jordan Walker is ranked elite. He's the only elite player on this list. And like I said, he's probably my favorite minor league hitter right now. At number seven, we've got Grant Levine. Again, he made the list on the last episode of Prospect Hot Sheet Arizona Fall League Edition. He's a bit old. He's 23.1. He's an outfielder in the Colorado Rockies organization. He was 7 for 22 with a homer, a triple, a double, and 8 RBIs over the last 15. Now, Levine had probably one of the better uh, seasons of his career in 2022. He's never really put up electrifying numbers in the minor leagues. He hit 283 with a 140 ISO. Held solid K numbers, 25.5 K to walk ratio and a sub 2 K percentage. But he did a lot of that damage in high A. When he got promoted to double A, he struggled quite a bit. He hit 10 home runs and stole two bags uh, over the 2022 season. And he's a Let's Talk Wax rank of four out of six for me right now. And at number six, we've got Heston Kersad, another repeater on this list from the first episode. Baltimore Orioles outfield prospect 23.7 was 11 for 33 with two homers, two doubles, and six RBIs. Now, to start the 2022 season, Kirsten hadn't played in two years, and to start the season in low A, he absolutely dominated. He got promoted to high A, and that's where he hit a little bit of a struggle, and for his age, that's kind of scary in the hobby, but like I said, he hadn't played baseball in two years. He's kind of like Royce Lewis. Uh, he hit 309 in the 2022 season with a 148 ISO, 22.5 K percentage, a 2.20 K to walk ratio. Now, I give Kerstad a Let's Talk Wax rank of two out of five, but he's really going to have to put some things together in 2023 because he's approaching 24, and that's where I cut a lot of my prospecting content off. Now, before we dig into the top five, if you guys enjoy my content or you want to support the channel, head over to my Patreon page. I've got lots of exclusive content over there to help you on your prospecting journey. I've got Bowman Chrome autograph checklists of all releases from 2019 to the present, a top 100 Bowman Chrome Autos list and a top 100 Bowman Chrome Autos under $50 list. You get early access to all my video info. I've got a monthly price tracker that tracks prospect autos, rookie autos, sealed wax, and some vintage cards like the 93 SP Jeter and Ken Griffey Jr. 89 Upper Deck. I've got a private Discord server with over 150 members, and I do free monthly giveaways over there as well. So if you want to help support the channel, links in the description to my Patreon page. At number five, we've got Andy Pajes with the Los Angeles Dodgers, 21.9 outfielder, 12 for 36 with two homers, a double, and five RBIs. Now, Pajes is one of the top power prospects in minor league baseball. He hit 26 home runs this year exclusively in double A, and you can see his ISO was right around 232. He's got really good K numbers as well for that much power output. A lot of other prospects that hit for that much power and have hit that many home runs, you know, like Aurelvis Martinez, are striking out and not walking the way that Pajas does. Now, his average is starting to trend down as he moves up levels, and I'm just a bit concerned that he may turn into a slugger. He's a two out of six right now on a Let's Talk Wax rank. At number four is Tyler Hardman out of the fresh 2022 Bowman, New York Yankees third base prospect, 23.8, and he spent the majority of the year in high A where he hit 262 with a 217 ISO, but when he got to double A, things kind of fell apart. He's performing well in the fall league over the last 15 days. It was nine for 28 with a home run, a triple, five doubles and five RBIs. Over the course of the 2022 season, he hit 255 with a 209 ISO, 
but really, really bad K numbers. And he's yet to record a minor league season where he's K'd under 30%. So Hardman is going to K. It follows him like a ghost around everywhere he goes. It's his shadow. And that means for me that when something is consistent, it's not really going to change. Now, he did hit 22 home runs and steal 14 bags. But like I said, the majority of his damage was done as a 23-year-old in high a. Tyler Harbin is a 5 out of 6 on Let's Talk Wax for me right now. Coming in at number 3 is the most underrated and undervalued prospect in the hobby, Colt Keith, Detroit Tigers. He's an infielder, 21.2 years old, was 9 for 24 over the last 15 with a homer, a double, and 3 RBIs. Now, Colt Keith's season was cut short by a shoulder injury that occurred in early June, but he's back in the fall league. And up until that injury, he was dominating yet again. He had an exceptional season in 2021, and he did it again in 2022 until the injury. He hit 301 with a 243 ISO, the highest on this list, nearly double what he did in 2021. A nine. Uh, 14 OPS, and he's got both his K numbers in red, which are extraordinary sub 20K percentage and a sub 2K to walk ratio. Now, his home run and stolen base numbers aren't very high, but it's because he missed a lot of the season, and he's off to another hot start in the Fall League. This guy just hits everywhere he goes. We talked about striking out being hard to shadow, but hitting seems to be Colt Keith's as well, and he's one of my favorite sleeper prospects. In the game right now, he's got a Let's Talk Wax rank of one, and he's only a $40 auto. At number two, I'm very excited to talk about Nick York. Boston Red Sox, second baseman, 20.6, was nine out of 25 with a home run, three doubles, and eight RBIs. Now, Nick York had probably one of the best seasons anyone could have in minor league baseball in 2021. And those seasons are very difficult to repeat. We saw guys like Anthony Volpe have immaculate 2021 seasons and just struggle to kind of put those numbers back up in 2022. You know, although Volpe was uh, promoted to double A and he still did very well, York stayed in high A and he dealt with some injuries the majority of the year and he just had a really bad season in 2022. He hit 232 with the lowest ISO on this list at 133, the lowest OPS at 668. He held solid K numbers, so there's no real red flags there. Hit 11 home runs and stole eight bases. Now, I'd really love to see the 2021 Nick York start to come back. And maybe since he's healthy and he's getting consistent playing time, that will be really, uh, it's a good possibility it could happen in 2023. He's a Let's Talk Wax rank of three right now. And I really hated to put a three on him because I know what his potential is. But based on what he did in the 2022 season, I really can't go any higher if I'm being objective only. Bringing home the gold medal in this video is Gage Workman, and never in a million years did I think I'd be covering this guy. He's on the chopping block on my breakdown for 2020 draft. Detroit Tigers infield prospect, 23 years old. He was 7 for 20 with two homers, two triples, a double, and six RBIs over the last 15 games. Really big numbers, and he was clearly the number one spot on this list. Now, that's where all the fun stuff about Gage Workman ends. He hit 225 in the 2022 season with a sub-200 ISO, a 691 OPS, and the K numbers are the big, big red flag for me. He had the worst K percentage on this list at 40 and the worst K to walk ratio of 6.05. So he's got a little bit of juice. He can steal some bags, but the guy never makes any contact. He's 23 years old, and the hobby's going to kind of shuffle him out. You know, at the age of 23, 24, people kind of tend to shy away from prospects unless they're putting up really big numbers, and the upper minors are kind of teeter-totting between, between AAA and the major leagues. So Gage Workman, number one on this list today, but a number six on the Let's Talk Wax rank over on my breakdowns. That's going to wrap this video up, guys, and don't forget to head over to my Patreon page. A link is in the description of this video. Lots of really cool stuff over there to help you along your prospecting journey. A quick shout out to all my level three sponsors over there tom barda max brad gary d childers jr just dingers breaks 909 sports cards craig graham jp navarro 
Kenny Winkles, Larry Canterbury, Max Antony, Jason Hall, Bobby Lynch, Bruce Wiley, Graham Cochran, Mike Berrier, and numbered cards. I want to thank you guys for watching my video. If you enjoy my content in Bowman Chrome baseball cards, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Big shout out to everyone who subscribes, and another shout out to all my supporters over on Patreon. You guys rock. Everybody have a great day.